Hello, I'm Chang Wansa. Today, we will share Matthew chapter 14 from 25 to 33. It tells us that Jesus was walking on the water. One stormy night, the disciples were on the boat. They saw that Jesus was walking on the water. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. Then Peter could walk on the water. This story, which we are already known well, shows Jesus is the Son of God. It looks amazing that Jesus is walking on the water. One more amazing issue is in this story. It is Peter, who is also walking on the water. He didn't immediately fall into the water. He was just beginning to sink. The Bible says, But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink. You might have dived into the water or stand on the water. We can't slowly sink. We fall flop into it. Meanwhile, Peter is sinking slowly, like a faithful boat. Peter is slowly sinking. This is like his heart. His mind is slowly filled with fear instead of faith toward Jesus. Jesus said, You of little faith, why did you come out? I might understand Peter's mind. A strong wind is blowing, the wave is blowing. He stands on the water without life jacket. Peter feels scary to be drowned. Even though Jesus is in front of Peter, it doesn't matter to him now. As much as his anxiety, the faith is getting smaller and smaller and fade away. This situation is similar with our case, just like nowadays. No one knows when this pandemic would be done. We should just stay at home, wait on the long line outside of grocery stores. Sometimes, suddenly, we feel scary if the person next to me would have the COVID-19. All of those things make us worry and annoying. Although Peter is looking at Jesus, his face is reddishing. We even cannot go to the church. What should we do? When Peter was thinking, he cried out, Lord, save me! That's right. At this time, all we need is not the anxiety, but to cry out to our Jesus, Lord, save me. Please help me overcome my unbelief. To keep our belief by ourselves, it is not easy. It is hard to catch the faith with our effort. So, we should pray to Jesus for our faith, our brother's and sister's faith, our family's faith. We should pray, Lord, save me. Please keep our faith. Then, Jesus will hold our praying hands 
Like when Peter cried out, Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him. When we pray, Jesus will keep our faith. He will hold you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please protect us from COVID-19. Especially, let our faith firmly stand in you. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.